everyone my name is mridul and welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 tips as to how you can look super polished and put together but on a budget i'm really excited for today's video because i do have a little bit of experience in this so back when i was in college this was literally my mantra i would strive to look super put together have really pretty outfits have nice nails um but on a budget i did not have a lot of money back Back then the only like money that i had was my pocket money so i had to really like pick and choose if i wanted to spend it on food or like clothes and stuff like that so i'm going to be sharing with you guys a few tips that i've learned over the years so yeah if you want to know more then keep on watching let's start with the most obvious point which is your outfit i feel like your outfit is kind of the first thing that someone sees um of course the details matter as well we'll get to those in a bit but your outfit is like your first impression i think it's more important the way you style an outfit rather than the brand of an outfit even now i would say at least 50% of my wardrobe is from hill road and kolaba causeway i really like street shopping i don't really care about the brands as i said it's important how you style it so a tip that i'm going to give you guys is something that i used to use a lot back in the day in fact i still do it till date basically if i'm super confused as to how to style a specific piece of clothing i don't know how to do it the right way it's not looking right i'm not able to figure it out what i'll do is i'll go either on google or on pinterest and i'll type the name of the clothing so for example purple top with puffy sleeves for example i'll type that and uske aage i'll type the word style you go to the image section and google is going to do the work for you it's going to show you a lot of options as to how you could style that specific piece of clothing so no matter what you're confused about even if it's like neon heels uske aage style dal do um denim jeans style dal do so you will get a lot of options to pick and choose from it will literally be like a catalog for you to pick and choose from um so you can pick an outfit according to the things that you have in your wardrobe and yeah it will be like a really put together polished outfit i have one more style tip and i'm a firm believer in it it is to match your handbag with your shoes So if I'm carrying a black purse I'll wear black shoes it could be black heels black flats black loafers whatever but it needs to be the same color similarly tan bag hai to tan shoes I believe in this rule 101 this makes you look like so put together and just the whole outfit looks in sync always try it it works now let's talk about the details because they do matter accessories let's talk about accessories you guys always ask me where my accessories are from and if you've noticed, notice i wear the same four five accessories recently it's very very trendy to wear very uh, minimal delicate looking jewelry i think it looks very beautiful it makes you look expensive it really elevates your outfit so i would highly recommend everyone to get a couple of pieces of jewelry um that are like your signature jewelry that you can wear with everything so i'm just going to show you a couple of things that i always wear and you guys always ask me where it's from so i'm going to start off with my choker my choker is from swarovski and then the necklace that i wear is from tanish so both of them are real but the beautiful thing about them is that they don't oxidize so i don't have to keep changing them because um back when i was in college i used to love junk jewelry but you have to constantly throw it out because it just goes bad so i'm going to link a few in between options for you guys in the description box below which aren't too expensive but at the same time they aren't ekdam hi zyada saste to a point where they like oxidize in one use so those are my necklaces very was it all they literally go with everything i also wear two rings it's been a year since i haven't like even removed them they always stay on my hands also one thing i forgot to mention earlier is that pick a tone so for example i personally prefer wearing gold and rose gold uh, warmer jewelry if you like silver stick to that and have all your jewelry the same color i know that it's kind of like a trend to mix metals I don't personally like it a lot. I like to have just like one uh, tone of metal. I'm currently loving warm tones, so I have two gold rings. Both of them are from Tanish. And lastly, earrings. So I personally love hoops. I have a bunch of hoops in a bunch of different sizes. Right now, I'm wearing ekdam chote wale. I got these from the station for like a hundred, hundred and fifty rupees. Then I also have like those bigger hoops. Again, those also I got from the station for like a hundred bucks. Hoops are such a class. Six, so definitely get yourselves a couple. 
couple of hoops in different sizes. I really do believe that accessories do give you kind of that rich look. So definitely check out the description box below. I'm gonna link a few accessories for you guys. So the next tip is for beautiful glowing skin. I'm not talking about the skin on your face, but on your body. So for example, if you were to wear shorts or dresses, you most definitely don't want your feet to look ashy and just dry. So make sure to always scrub your body. I make sure to scrub my body at least once a week. Sometimes I'll do it even twice a week. So recently the body scrub that I've been using is from Mama Earth and it's their Neem body scrub. This has Neem and Tulsi. They also have an Uptan body scrub which has turmeric and saffron in it. Now the Neem body scrub is for skin purification. Now this scrub really gets deep into your skin and helps get rid of the dead skin cells and just leaves your skin super polished and soft. The idea is to have really beautiful, naturally healthy and glowing skin, not just on your face, but also on your body. And this scrub helps me achieve that. Now this scrub has a very creamy texture. Unlike the other scrubs available in the market, this will not damage your skin. It's very gentle, but at the same time, it does the job. Once you're done washing the scrub off, it's going to make your skin super soft soft and it's not going to give you that dry rough feeling at all. This scrub is 100% natural, paraben and toxin free. So if you're interested in getting your hands on this body scrub, you can use my code MRIDDLE2020 on mamaearth.in. Mama Earth products are also available on Nykaa, Flipkart and Amazon. So once I'm done scrubbing my body, um, of course it leaves my skin super super nice and soft. It's really important to moisturize after that. So during the day, I'll just use a very lightweight moisturizer moisturizer if you don't do this please start doing it you're gonna thank yourself later because the glow that you're able to achieve because of moisturization you won't be able to tell in one go but once you do it for like maybe a month you'll see the difference another thing that i like to do at night is um, i'll use a body oil so you could just go in with a regular coconut oil or there's also specific body oil that i use i'll link it in the description box below i'll lather my skin with that and oh my god it's so nice my skin looks like it's glowing i'll also use the oil sometimes when i'm wearing dresses when i'm going out also but when i'm taking pictures and um, stuff like that i'll lather my skin with oil and it just looks very healthy very glowy and that's exactly Exactly what you want don't you let's talk about hair and makeup let's start with hair um of course you could learn how to do a couple of super like sleek hairstyles but one thing that i would recommend for every hairstyle or for that matter even if you're leaving your hair down is make sure that your hair is not frizzy i personally hate the look of frizzy hair and i also deal with frizzy hair so i'll share a few things that i do the first thing that i do is i make this diy setting spray for my hair i don't like using those chemical wale uh, sprays on my hair of course they do a brilliant job at like really smoothing your flyaways and making you look super sleek but they're so bad for you so um what i've been doing is i've been making this diy hairspray now in order to make this hairspray all you're gonna need is some hot water and some jaggery good in dono ko you just boil it together and you create this semi um liquid sort of a consistency i I would not recommend adding too much of good in the water because then it'll be too sticky. Just add enough for it to sleek your hair back. Now this hairspray, I would recommend using the day before you're gonna wash it because it's good, right? It will make your hair sticky, but it does the job and it's chemical free. So try avoiding frizz at all costs because that's just gonna make you look messy. Now onto makeup. I don't have anything groundbreaking when it comes to makeup, but I'm gonna make sure to link my two minute makeup tutorial in the description box below if you want to look put together if you want to look polished in literally two minutes check that tutorial out say you don't want to wear makeup or you're not in the mood to wear like a full face of makeup what you can do is you can stick to two features of your face so for me personally it's always eyebrows i always like to fill in my brows because um, i feel like it instantly just frames my face um, and another thing that i like to do is i'll apply a lip balm like a glossy one um, so it looks kind of like um, lip gloss I personally like to do these two things and it instantly like really like wakes me up and uh, makes me look put together. Please let me know in the comments down below how many times in this video have I said 
polish and put together clearly i don't have a very diverse vocabulary so the next tip is something that i didn't follow for the longest time very recently have i started doing it it is to iron your clothes i know it's so basic and so straightforward but i just didn't do it because i was so lazy and when you have like wrinkled clothes it just gives off a very shabby impression and it gives off an impression that you don't really care and you don't want that right so the thing that i started using is a steamer instead of like a press like an iron i link the steamer that i use in the description box below having a steamer is literally life changing it takes like a couple of seconds like 30 seconds max and it just gives you super crisp and wrinkle free clothes i know it's so simple so basic if you already do it great but all the lazy girls like me start doing it is going to make a big difference nails now this might seem so irrelevant to a lot of people which is fine but for me personally i feel like it makes a huge difference um i personally don't have the most beautiful nails naturally on my hands um they look really bad so i used to get extensions like acrylic extensions done because it just makes my hands look more feminine but recently what i've been doing is i've been doing uh, my nails at home with some stick on nails i have a complete like dedicated video all about it so i'm going to make sure to link it down in the description box below i have been able to find a couple of uh, nail options from amazon so i'm going to make sure to link those in the description box below press on nails is what i'm talking about another thing that you can do if you do have nice nails naturally is i really enjoy the nykaa's gel polish so i'll use that especially on my toes and um i also like to use the nail hardener that again is from nykaa i'm going to make sure to link both the products in the description box below those really help if you have brittle nails like me both the products are fab definitely check it out actually another tip that i have for you guys when it comes to nails only is that match your toe nails with your hand nails just zyada coordinated lagta hai it's the same logic like the shoes and bag wala and on to perfume i know it's just such a obvious one but i had to put it in of course you don't have to break your bank to be able to smell super luxurious and rich i have made a video i'm going to make sure to link it in the description box below in fact i've made two the first one is perfumes under 200 rupees and the other one is i think perfumes under 1000 rupees so i do have a little bit of a variety for you guys to pick and choose from but i promise to you guys that those perfumes even though they are so in expensive they smell so rich you can have your outfit in place your hair looking beautiful your makeup looking on point but if you don't smell good what even is the point right so definitely figure out a perfume that works well with your body and um, a fragrance that you like and make it your signature perfume you want people to remember you um from like a specific scent and yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i really hope this was helpful all the products are going to be linked in the description box below don't forget to go check it out as always don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell to get notified every single time i post a new video follow me on my instagram and follow simba lifestyle i'll see you very very soon in my next video bye